Alright. I got your Bible right here. This All is 2 right. Ezra 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's clear. Just look around you. Every other person you see is a faggot, a trans. We just seen two women holding hands. Just right, we seen two women holding hands right there. Right, we, when we was down on this corner walking up, we seen uh, two women holding hands. We thought one of the women was a dude, it was actually a woman. Butch. So you can't even tell if the difference between a woman and a man no more. Hey, read that, read that again. Uh, nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Yes, yeah, so there's no faith, no way believes in God. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why every time uh, we always have atheist uh, protesting uh, Bible believers. You know what I'm saying? If you take if you take a Bible to school, you get suspended. If a teacher, uh, if you're a teacher of the school, you teach the Bible, you can get fired. You know what I mean? They might try to bring charges up on you for teaching the Bible. I was just watching this protest video. Where was this protest video, man? I forget where it was. There was some kind of homo, I think it was in Texas. There was a homosexual uh, uh, freak fest going on. You know, some kind of gay pride parade going on. Right. And they had two uh, Bible street preachers out there and they was calling them all faggots and telling them they was gonna go to hell or whatever. And the faggots came over there and beat the shit out of the, the preachers. <laughs> you see that? No. Nah. But, oh, but, no. but you know that ain't gonna happen to real men in the Lord. Hell no. But the point I was just making though is, <laughs> oh shit. I mean, these faggots and these atheists, they they, they they want to kill you. Oh, did you see that? Uh, you know you should have said that. <laughs> did you did you see that there was a uh, did you see there was a uh, there was a there was people. Where's that down in Texas? It's it so everything happened in Texas. There, there was a protest going into Texas. And there's a bunch of people uh, protesting abortion. They were protesting abortion, and they were singing "Amazing Grace." And while they were singing "Amazing Grace," you had the the pro-choicers. You had all these women, all these liberals and women who believed that a woman have a choice to kill a baby. They while the while the uh, while the people were singing "Amazing Grace," the the pro-choice people were yelling "Hail Satan" over and over. Did you see that? You wanna see that video? Oh, they was yelling, Hail Satan. Wow. They was actually saying, Hail Satan. Yeah, that's what they want. I was, and that's crazy, man. That's cause a nigga can actually get his bitch in the stomach and kill the baby and then lock his ass up. But that bitch can just make their choice, man. Fuck, I'm killing this baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can kill a, uh, yeah, you, you can kill a ba baby in abortion, right? And be, it's okay. But if you kill a, like a one month year old child, you go to jail. Yeah. Well, what's the difference? You know what I mean? There's no difference. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. So yeah, iniquity is increased. Iniquity, that means evil. So every other person you see is a faggot, okay? If they're not a faggot, they got gay friends, okay? Every other woman's a lesbian. You be on the internet, women, uh, you be on the internet dating sites or any kind of sites, social network sites, all the women be posting like, hit me up girls, no males allowed. No, no niggas allowed. They actually say that. This is this fucking confusion, man. Shit, yeah, they look good too. I like that red hair right there. Hell yeah. And look, I bet you that dude right there, get the camera on them, the Edomites right there. He don't even like those. Yeah, I, I guarantee you that dude who's with him, he's a faggot. And he, the only reason they're hanging out with him because he's gay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all those bitches right there are all lesbians. So, yeah. I, I guarantee it. So almost every other person you see is a faggot, man. I bet you they all them make porn it's on some porn site. Yeah, that's why the porn, yeah. You can't make money doing porno no more because Everybody's doing it, so there's no money in it no more. You know what I mean? So there's no the supply and demand is down because there's so many women out here willing to do porno that they ain't making no money no more. You know what I mean? Or they make money, but not as much as they would back 10, 20 years ago.
Yeah, they gotta keep it moving. Yeah, they go city to city. But I ain't gonna give a bitch no kind of money like that. First of all, I ain't got no money. That's a beast right there. Oh, dang. I'm down with you guys, man. Okay. I'll move all that false flag shit. You can bring that dog with you too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad one. What's it? Uh, what's it? A bull bass? See that uh, dog on camera? Kind Corsa. Oh, yeah. Get a good shot of that big giant thing. That's an expensive dog. Yeah, this buy from that. Yeah. Yeah. You see that everywhere now, like from Jay Z and all, like Kanye West, Kim Kardashian. The, yeah, they wear their rings, their necklaces, Beyonce, all of them have those satanic images. That's good. That we can stuff. Read this scripture real quick for us. Read it again from the top. We was just talking about that. Yeah, because, uh. Yeah, Jay Z, he wears shirts to say, uh, and he sells. Do what them thou wilt. You seen that? That's, that from, that's, that from from? The, that's from the Satanic Bible. Yeah, it's from yeah. Alistair Crowley. Yeah. 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 yeah, the wickedest man in the life. Nevertheless, as concerning the, the tokens, behold, the days shall come. That they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. Uh, iniquity is increased. Like all, all the popular musicians, like you said, they wear a Bafo Met shirt. Uh, Jay Z just came out with a new album called uh, Magna Carta Holy Grail. So, I mean, he's trying to say he's holy when he's wearing uh, Baffle Met shirts and Duels Out Wilk shirts. Right. Throwing up satanic hand signs. Well, it's, and a lot of it's just hiding in plain sight. Yeah, it's it like is. It because images, images are more powerful than, well, it's a than, than the actual words. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just like, what is a Nazi symbol? You look at it today, it mm -hmm. still means what it meant. It's lost and it's, they just bombard like the youth, man, with these images of all this stuff. And then it just becomes normal. And no, nobody, nobody notices that. <laughs> every, yeah, every corporate symbol is uh, really, like you can look at like that Nissan symbol is really the planet Saturn. You see that? It has Nissan with the circle with a line through it. The Chrysler. Uh, the Chrysler, look, check that. That's a Babylonian uh, sun disc. The Chevrolet symbol, mm -hmm. same with Chrysler, it's the same thing, it's a sun disc. We've got the sun disc with the wings on it. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yep. It, works like, it works like witchcraft. Just like, that's why they have all those symbols on a dollar bill. You know. Oh the, yeah, the Masonic the, all seeing eye, and yeah. like you'll see like the musicians flash that. Uh, yeah, they do that all album. seeing eye thing and stuff, or, or looking yeah. looking through there, cover one eye. Yeah. Yeah. One eye. yeah. Well, you seen uh yeah, that's like the Beatles. You ever listen to the Beatles? Or, oh yeah. So you Paul McCartney and uh, John Lennon, they'd always throw that up, and they even had Aleister Crowley on the front of one of their albums, Sgt. Oh, Pepper. You ever, uh, the Sgt. Pepper's album? Yeah. And look on that album, there's got a bunch of people on the album. One of those people is Alistair Crowley. Oh, really? Yeah, he's on the cover of the album. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I tell you, dude, like, I was in denial for a long time, but after that <laughs> Boston Marathon shit happened, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just started, like, looking at these pictures, man, of these dudes, like, the freaking Blackwater guys with the Punisher hats on, yeah. standing right next, and I was just, like, I started researching and stuff, and, like, just looking. Just shit now, isn't it? Well, and I think for a long time, man, I just, I didn't care because right. I wasn't, like, political. Because I just kind of abandoned the whole political system anyway. But then I was just like, man, this, all this is really going on. It's not, it's not a conspiracy theory, man. It's just, it just happens in plain sight. Yeah. And because the media is owned by four or five companies, it's easy to control the out by the news, man. Yeah, yeah that's why, like, you heard about that Eric Snowden thing? Yeah. So that Snowden's all over the news. But if you get on the internet, everybody's saying Snowden's a hero. But if you get on uh, the TV, CNN, or Fox, everybody's on there saying how he needs to be prosecuted. We oh, gotta catch yeah. this guy. Yeah. We gotta lock him up, you know? So cable TV, you gotta turn that shit off. Man. Oh, I mean, yeah, the two, the, dude, I turned my cable off, man, like a year ago. I just <laughs> watch everything off the internet. That's how you do it. Internet's the best but, way to get news. Yeah, I got a Roku, man. It's, you guys, are you guys what, like, uh, on Infowars.com. Yeah. Everybody yeah. uses that site. Yeah. Prison Planet. Well, yeah, Prison Planet. Yeah. So I you can stream Prison Planet right to your TV through the Roku device. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You can get your like, Yeah, Roku, man. They just had a 
hundreds of channels, and Prison Planet's one of them. So you just had to take your subscription, boom, everything that you want, from like Alex Jones, all those guys is right, right on there. Hey, they're picking up their gang. That's cool as hell. I mean, I, yeah, I'd rather watch some Alex Jones or CNN, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You get real news for Alex yeah. Jones. CNN is just Cartoon News Network. Yeah, yeah Cartoon News Network. That's Adam Kostash, I'm, I'm, I'm big into that guy, too. He's, he's you got to watch out for that guy. Yeah, but this change, this place has changed for the worse, and it ain't going to get no better. Nah. It's going to get worse. It's going to get bad. It's going to get worse. Especially when the concentration camps are. Right, that's, that's the whole DHS thing that they're all setting up now to, like, they're ready now. Yeah, I mean, it's in the training manuals that they're like, you know, to prepare them to shoot Christians and other, like, you know, uh, and dissenters, man, of people who are uh, who are going to go against it. You and ever read uh, Project Megiddo? No. You gotta read that. There's some interesting shit in there. What's the name of it? Tell Project Megiddo. Megiddo. It tells you how they're going to come after people that read the Bible. You know, oh yeah. They, they they're already after. doing it. Like we used to say before you came out here. Like if if you uh. If you're a teacher in a school, you teach a students the Bible, you're gonna get fired. Oh, they got a new law too in the military. If you're in the military, say you join the Marines and you wanna evangelize, do some evangelizing, go preach yeah, the word, you, you, get, you can actually get court martial. They right. said not even the chaplain is allowed to teach the Bible. Right. That's crazy. But you can be a homosexual though. Right. You, you know what I mean? Have sex with your animals, dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know in Ohio, uh, bestiality is legal in Ohio? <laughs> Why would they do that? Unless it's common. Unless it's popular. I, it's actually, I think it's in 14 <laughs> states, I think. Somewhere around there, is, bestiality is legal in 14 states or something like that. You can Google it, uh, how, what states is bestiality legal in. Ohio is one of them. Because they just try to pass a law, was it like a year or two ago? They brought the law up, law up down and uh, they, they brought the bill up. Year. Yeah, the bill got shot down. Because there's so many people engaged in bestiality, yeah. they, they, you know, they don't want to. It's a lot of money been made with these bitches going. Your right, I mean, just making like porno. Freaking, yeah, I mean, just like with child porn and other stuff like that. You know, big money into that. Yeah, that's that's what's big next. Money. First, they, yeah, first they legalize homosexuality. Soon, you, you have people seriously talking about legalizing pedophilia. That's next. Because you know the Jews practice it anyway. Right? They can have sex with a boy. That, uh, that's like eight or nine, yeah. you know. That's what them actual fake Jews practice. And they actual practice and they suck baby penises after they circumcise it. You ever heard of that? No. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you something. They're, yeah, the so-called Jews are not the real Jews. The real, the real Jews are black. But uh like black I, Israelites. Well you got well, there's well, twelve tribes. Well okay. black is just a color. That's just right. a label they put on. Right. You, well, I mean, that's all the thing now, too. It's like they're just trying to divide everybody with this Trayvon Martin case and anything else. It's just like... Yeah, that's all set it's, up. It's a distraction. It's, it's going to work. It's, it's a it's distraction. It's not just that. It's, it's going to serve people, a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps people from coming together. And that's exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be giant race wars, man. And the Lord did say he came to bring division. Oh, you can't show that on camera. We got a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah, because what... I'll just send you the link. No, I've already, I don't need to see that shit. I've seen it before. That shit's disturbing. It's real. But there's real. hundreds of, look. It's real, real. They just passed a law, they passed a law in New York like a year ago. They was banning this practice because the Jews, well, they're not real Jews. Hey, get Revelation 2 and 9 for me. Wow, explain this. When these, the so-called Jews, like you said earlier, uh, the only a handful of people control all the news organizations, like, it's the so-called Jews that run CNN. Like Wolf Blitzer, he's a so-called Jew. All, most of these talking heads, a lot of them are Jews that are controlled by the Jews. The Jews control the Congress. Okay, they control Hollywood. All, all, all the big movie directors are all Jews. Spielberg, uh, all of them, bro. But anyway, when they have a male child, when it's born, when the male is born, they they do a ritual and they they suck. They, 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 they circumcise the baby's penis and then they suck, they get a rabbi, but they, yeah, they call it a mohul, a mohul. A rabbi gets and sucks the blood out of the baby's penis. And then that, it just came out, was it like a couple months ago, uh, a, a baby uh, caught AIDS and another one caught herpes because rabbis were doing that to him. Jesus Christ. Here you go, Revelation 3 and 9. Yeah, check this scripture out. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, 
I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have no feet. Yeah, so the Lord said, who that two and nine? Two and nine. Revelation two and nine. I know thy works in tribulations and poverty. So the real, so this is talking about the real Israelites are poor. Okay, that, that that's the Lord's people right here. But thou art rich. But, but we're rich because we have this knowledge, okay? Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. I mean, that's clear. You know what I mean? He says they're not Jews. They're the synagogue of Satan. What you Irish, Scottish? Ah, uh, Scottish. See, you could, you more likely, you one of these. More than likely. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> my uh yeah my dad's side imagine is, that growing up to Scottish. find out you a nigga oh yeah Scottish. <laughs> yeah scott scott means black yeah right you know what i mean black man. Black yeah Scottish. but you know yeah that's the thing back in the uh back when the roman empire conquered britain mm -hmm. they went up and uh they, they they controlled the southern part of the island but you know they had to build a wall called Hadrian's Wall to keep the Scots out because the Scots were so fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. and they, you know what I mean? So they actually built a wall going across the whole island just to keep out those crazy ass Scots. Yeah, they was fighting all the yeah. That's what the Scots <laughs> Irish were called, was born fighting. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Was the but they a ton of them all fought in the uh, Civil War when they came right. over to the U.S. Yeah, that's some sick shit. But that's what it, yeah they come off the boat and then they they show you that that movie uh. What's that movie, with Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York. Yeah, so the Irish get off the ship. As soon as they got off the ship, <laughs> they took advantage of them, put a rifle in their hand, and sent them off the boat. That's, that's real. That's real. Three that's squares real. a day, and no, that's real. That's real. And that whole Irish regiment got taken out in battle, man. Just you know, dying for what? You know. There was also signs like all over Europe, like uh, no blacks, no Irish. Oh, dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there used to be signs. Yeah, there were signs all through uh, yeah, England. Oh, all here, through England. Some here. And here, too. Some here. Yep. It said Irish need not apply. Because they know a lot of Scottish and Irish are actually black people. It's just, y'all got, like the Lord got, we got many curses on us. And one of the curses is leprosy. Yeah. That's why you see, yeah, because Irish people, yeah, Scottish. That's why you see a lot of the white dudes that's in like the NFL, they be beasts. Yeah. For example, like that linebacker for uh, Green Bay. That's a bad motherfucker. Uh, what's his name? Um, Clay Matthews. That's yeah. A bad motherfucker. Yeah, he's a monster. You know, hey, uh, remember sports. Kevin Green used to be flying. Oh, Kevin that's Green. Still, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bad motherfucker, man. Hell yeah. What about Brett Favre? Yeah. <laughs> Don't pay Brett Favre. Yeah, Brett Favre, the greatest quarterback ever. <laughs> that's one reason. That's one clue how you know he a brother. Yeah. He loved them. Don't he loved them pills? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> part of the curses. He, yeah. <laughs> he caught on them drugs. They're funny as hell because that was one of the plan of the elites to go. Divide and conquer. When they know a lot of us are actual brothers, you know. They get you doped up. So when you get all get been on drugs all day, you can't think straight. Oh, you can't yeah, operate. They, they want to like, oh, you have ADD and you have this like. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, they yeah. Put you on that shit and you're like. Yo, check this out. And people just like, you are time to fall in line and do what they say. Yeah. And yeah. Don't Keep everybody in a, a, a dreamlike state. Right. Check this out. A report just came out last week. I just made a video on it recently. The, a report came out that said over 70 percent of americans are on prescription drugs oh yeah Se and and that's that, only the reported cases yeah I that's the, that's the, yeah exactly and that's at least one and then there was a huge percentage of people of like that oh, you've seen five that? or more you seen that study 30 percent are on five or more and they, and they said that and most of those drugs were painkillers you know so opiates you know that was the most popular drug of choice of the opiates oh yeah it's all bored housewives and people that just yeah, I've, I've done Oxycontins years ago, and you can't function on that shit, man. And all these people, they're sniffing them, yeah, they're breaking them down, sniffing them, shooting them up. And all these people, most, the average person probably got a pocket full of pills in his pocket. I took them purpose for my back, man. I said, God, this shit makes me feel too damn good. I gotta put this shit down. I, I can't take it. I start getting dizzy, I'll pass out. I was happy as hell. So you guys got a YouTube that, channel or something? Or? Uh, mm. You on Twitter? Uh, yeah, I don't use it too much, but... Well, we do have a YouTube channel. It's, uh, we have a few of them. But I say Twitter, we're kings of the earth on Twitter. And that's why I post the links from all the different channels on the uh, Twitter. Oh, okay. I'll check it. Like, kings of... Kings of the earth, all one word. Oh, I'm going to read this real quick. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decrees. And their right grievousness which they have prescribed. 
Yeah, that, that describes America to a T, just like that, uh, the NSA spying thing. We already knew we was getting spied on anyway. Yeah, they was doing, yeah, they've been doing the that. actual confirmation of it now, or like... Now people can't say you're crazy no right. more. Exactly. But then, <laughs> then all the weak-ass people are like, well, you know, we need it to keep us safe. Well, so I'm not doing anything bad. Why should uh, I mind if they're spying on me? I'm not doing anything wrong. But who, who's to say at what time do they decide that what you're doing is not right or wrong? You know? Right. It could be this tomorrow. It could be that. And then you won't be singing the same the song. It's too late. Your freedom's yeah. gone at that Free, point. It really ain't no freedom anyway. This shit's mean, been gone. I like, <laughs> yeah. Just wait till that new false flag. That's when it happens. The next false flag. Uh, it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be serious changes then. Who knows what's coming next, man? Right. Race rights, uh, nuclear attack. You don't know what's 9/11 coming. was what? Uh, Twelve years ago. That's a long time ago. Well, yeah. I mean, that's me. The biggest something. concern isn't the false flags, as much as is, is that they get into nuclear war with Russia or China. Just well, to, thin, to, thin out, to thin out the herd the way that they want it. And well, then yeah. the, the population. It's all that Masonic. You know, reduce the population and, and, and get and then you know repopulate. Everything. Yeah, because yeah, have you heard of the Georgia guy song? Yeah, that's, oh, uh, that's part of yeah. the thing that's on the guy song. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, you already know about that. So, yeah, they're on the way there. Hey, fuck you, everybody, man. And yeah, we've been out here for years telling people, now, like, I mean, yeah, exactly. we've been doing this for years, like, five years ago, nobody believed the damn thing we say, but the truth just keeps coming out. Now it's undeniable, you know what I mean? Dude, I mean, I just, the people I know, man, it's like, it's a process. It's like, I, you got to unlock their minds. It's like, yeah, right, right, you just right, have to right, say, right. if you can agree that they're the government or, you know, the, the shadow government is doing this and this, yeah. look at these pictures. Just look at these pictures in the Boston bombing and tell me you're not at least suspicious. And my one friend was like, yeah, okay, I, I at least admit there's something going on here. I'm like, okay, well, that's a start. <laughs> you know? And that's yeah. where you, that's where you yeah. start that, with them. That is yeah. the start. And it's that's like, the and... Yeah. It's not that they're bad or they're stupid or whatever. It's just like people are busy with lives and their families, and you're like, my freaking job. I'm on vacation this week, but like, take so much of my time, dude, and just to kind of scrape by because you know, that's if you don't get a raise to. over a couple of years that's with inflation, we you're making less. Yeah, we're we're talking, less money. We was talking about it on the way up here, saying how uh, I did that in uh, exactly Deuteronomy. That's a curse. You know, that curse is going to work. That's a curse in the Bible because. Actually, America's a corporation, bro. It was founded upon the principles of slavery. Like, uh, what's today? July 4th, right? Independence Day. But we got all, all kinds of black people celebrate Independence Day when they was in slavery, when, when the country was born. Right. Because America was founded upon slavery. It's a corporation, and it still is a corporation. That's why they have a president, just like corporations have presidents. Oh, yeah. So many all the campaign dollars they just basically run the government. There's not, about a, money. There's right. not a real government anymore. It's, it's, run by, it's run by corporations paid for the, by their influence. But it was started as a corporation. America was actually started as a charter. Well, yeah, Magna, Magna Carta. But well, Magna Carta is some day. That's law. But uh, that's why when America, this is what you do in America. You go to work every day. You eat, you, uh, eat sleep, and ship work. And then after you get your paycheck, they take take half of it out in taxes and all kinds of other shit. The IRS takes all your money. Before you even get it, they rob you. And then after that, you have to go pay rent, okay, which is mo way more than half your check. <laughs> then after that, after you pay rent, then you gotta pay gas, you gotta pay electric. Oh, then if you wanna drive a car to get to work, oh, you gotta pay a car. And then on top of that, you gotta pay registration. You gotta get license plates. And there's taxes on all those fees that the things that you're paying for. And it's not like you just get it registered <laughs> once. You gotta get it registered once a year, over and over. It, it's obvious robbery. And then what happens, what happens if you don't pay your taxes? They will come to you with a gun. They'll come to you with the gun and they will lock you up like a gangster would do. What happens if you don't pay a gangster? He's gonna come at you with a gun. And if you resist him, he's going to shoot you. And that's what the, gov the government does, man. Let me read this right here. Oh, what you got? It's going around Deuteronomy 2833. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Yeah, yeah like you say, uh, you labor all day, but you don't get to eat of the fruits of your labor. Like, you know, even in the Constitution says that... Uh, you can't tax somebody for their labor. 
uh, for the, uh, oh yeah, I mean, there's a there's a law. There's no record on uh, law on record that says you have to file your income tax. Right, right. right. It's not, it's I mean, not, they can withdraw exactly. from your paycheck and your job, but there is no law that says you have to file. It's a criminal there's, act. There's IRS agents who don't file because they know that if they go to the courts, they can prove it if it goes to court. So they don't obviously don't go after their own IRS agents or retired agents who don't file. They just go after the people they can intimidate and scare and, and, well, yeah. and, and scare you into compliance. That's just the same way with the courtroom. If you have enough money, you have a lawyer who knows the law really good, you can get acquitted of any crime. You never go to jail. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, but... You know, meaning the words. A lot of that Latin. All right, well, I got to get going, man, but uh, keep up the fight, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right. Yeah, we're I'll, going, check, I'll, I'll get on your Twitter handle. Yeah, Kings okay. of the Earth. We'll be posting this video on it there probably whenever it gets... Laura Willen will post it whenever, probably the next couple of days or so. Probably right, tomorrow the soonest. All right, man. Take it easy. Yep. Because, you know, YouTube been fucking with our channel, man. Last week, I was trying to upload our videos. Like, three times I tried to upload them. <laughs> it took all night. Right. It took, like, eight hours to upload one video. Yeah. So then um, it failed. Because I've been getting on the, on our clips on, um, on the PlayStation. Oh, yeah? And there's some clips missing. Some videos got deleted. You know, he said what you used to say all the time. You know, uh, people gotta wake up at a small level. People wake up at a small level. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, because the first he admitted how he woke up, how he was retarded at one time, and he woke up. He still is retarded. You know, he woke up. He still is retarded. He ain't all the way awake. Yeah. There's different levels of waking up. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't drooling. <laughs> like, he, ain't, he ain't drooling sleep. <laughs> the shit that really woke me up to the uh, to the fucked up government. I already knew that I'd never trust the government anyway. Yeah, the thing that really got me suspect. into the conspiracies and stuff was that 9-11 shit, man. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was uh, it was obvious. Like, 9-11 is an inside job. I, after I watched the videos, seen the documentaries, I was like, man, it's undeniable. And after that, the Lord hit me with that truth. Hit me with them scriptures. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's good that people was waking up to the conspiracies and shit, man. Conspiracies are real. You know the word conspiracy comes from the word conspire, because con means with, inspire means to breathe. Like your respiratory system, you know, respire, respiratory system. So yeah, so, so conspiracy theories are real. People are breathing together, plotting on your ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, here you go. You on the but it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses, that's a cut to all these churches, they're not under the law of shit. I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses. Cursed shall thou be in the city. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So you can tell this city is cursed as hell. The whole, the whole damn city of Columbus, wherever Israelites live, are ghettos. They stink. It's just foul. It's trash every damn where. People get shot. Like you saying yesterday, all kind of people got shot in Columbus yesterday. I didn't even know. He just told me. Columbus always violent though. That's a, yeah. that's, that's an everyday thing anyway. They ain't got shot on Chicago. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Uh, right. Right. You're right. <laughs> This place gonna pick up. It's gonna pick up speed. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was. Eventually, it's not gonna. Just, I mean, then again, they are su they suppressing a lot of the violence that's going on. Yeah, they do. Anyway. Yeah, they've always suppressed. You know? Yeah, they always suppress violence in Columbus. But you right, Chicago, man. That's like an experiment. That it seems like this government's doing, man. That, you know, that's some FBI or some CIA that's provoking that shit. Well, any kind of major gang, like major gang that has hundreds and hundreds of members. You can best believe the fucking FBI is behind that shit. That's right. And then that head OG is a motherfucking plant. He's an informant. Okay? <laughs> the that's head how, that's OG. That's how that shit works, man. This is common that's just how it works. The government ships the drugs in. The cops are the number one drug dealers. Guns and drugs. Yeah, guns and drugs. Yeah, they, Obama got caught selling guns to the Mexican drug cartel. So you can't tell me that these the government ain't the ones pushing the drugs and the guns. Okay, why, 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 why do you think marijuana has been illegal for so long? Because they, they want to have, they want, first of all, if it's illegal, you can charge more money for it. This is common sense, man. Same thing with cocaine, 
and heroin and any other drug, if it's illegal, you can charge more money for it, okay? Because it's all about supply and demand, you know what I'm saying? The scarcity of something. That's how business works. Plus, yeah, if, if, if the job is dangerous, you get paid more for that job. Like if you uh, doing hazmat, doing working with dangerous chemicals, you can get paid more than the average person. That's why drug dealers get paid so much. Well, the, the big drug dealers, these little little maggots on the streets selling 20 sacks, they ain't getting paid shit, man. Maggots, exactly. Maggots. maggots. I couldn't think of no other word. That's uh, that's right. Yeah, maggots. They, 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 God is the God, uh, the Lord of the flies. <laughs> the owls above. That's who these people worship. They worship the owls above. The Lord of the flies, which means the God of shit. The flies buzzing on that shit. That's why Columbus, America's like, it's like a big pile of shit. <laughs> flies buzzing on it, man. That's what it is. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to that. Um, That's their God. You seen them bitches. Why well, you ain't see that video? When we go home, I have to show you the video where them, uh, uh, the pro-abortion people were yelling, Hail Satan. Hail Satan. You can't make this shit up, man. Mm -hmm. That's the Lord put that spirit on them to make them do that, too. Yeah, right. To prove that they're the devil, man. You gonna tell me they're not evil when they're yelling, Hail Satan? But iniquity, this is Acts 2, verses 5 and 2. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now is our spirit. Or that thou hast heard long ago. Say, what? Hold on. I, this car is fucking that up. I don't hear that again. Listen to this. That's an amazing scripture. Right. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. So, yeah, it, it, he said, you ain't going to see some evil and some wickedness that y'all ain't never seen before. You thought Sodom and Gomorrah was bad? That ain't shit. <laughs> Wait till you see America. Wait till you see this shit. Cause this shit right here, this tops it all, man. It's the most wickedest place in the history of mankind. In the history of the face of the earth. Hey, how much time's left on that camera? We're gonna check that out at. No, don't worry about it. it would, don't worry about it then. Does it say minutes or anything? Or, no, uh, it don't say, uh, it don't say nothing. Oh, uh, it ain't got it turned on. Don't worry about it. When it goes out, it goes out. Yeah, but that's like that's why the scripture said. Uh, oh, I don't got a scripture for that. What you gonna get? Um, where it tells you um, how uh, there's a couple scriptures in there too, but how how you tell somebody and they don't believe it about the days that's coming. Yeah, I know this one. I'm just one of them. Because this shit is foul out here. Like you saying, uh, did you get that bi bitch to walk by to look like a dude? That's too, right when he was just reading that scripture, a lesbian walked by, that red-headed fat bitch, <laughs> would walk by with her girlfriend. This shit is madness, man. Everywhere he goes, a damn faggot. You notice they stopped holding hands when they kept coming by us. Cause they, they yeah, you they, noticed that, yeah. Cause they knew in their spirit it wasn't right, man. They knew what they was doing was evil. So that's why you gotta curse people out. People say you can't judge no one. You can't be judging people. Well, if you don't judge people, then they're gonna keep being wicked and they're gonna think what well, they're doing is not wrong. That's why they felt bad when they walked by because we out here and they, we let them know that what they're doing is wrong. Like we're reminding they ass. You know what I mean? They all, and you know what's funny too? They all had their head down. They, yeah, they put walk by with their heads down, feeling all ashamed and shit. Fear. And they, yeah. And the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be wasted suddenly, man. That's going to be the most glorious destruction you've ever seen in your life. Oh, man, that's going to be beautiful. Magnificent. Man, we're going to be looking on down this from outer space looking at this. That's going to be magnificent. Because the Lord, he go, if you ride with the most high, if you part of the elect, the Lord's going to deliver you. You're going to get beamed up in the chariots, so-called UFO. And we're going to get beamed up, and we're going to be looking down on America. And it's going to appear to us as a giant lake of fire. This is, this is one I was looking for right here. 
Matthews 24 and 21. Oh yeah. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, no, nor ever shall be. Oh, yeah, because after this, <laughs> after this is going to be the kingdom. Some I believe is what the temple. They still don't believe. They may be waking up to these conspiracies and whatever, you know. But when you read a the Bible, they lose interest. Yeah, that's you right. You know what I mean? That's they right. don't want to talk about the news and the NSA and, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about some Sandy Hook and the Boston Marathon and the Illuminati. They'll talk about the Illuminati all day. All day. <laughs> when I bring a scripture out, Oh, I got some gold. Right, a scripture especially telling you about uh, martial law and thermonuclear missiles and America's full total destruction. Yeah, the Freemasons, if you're a Freemason, you're not allowed to read the Bible inside the Freemasonic Lodge, all right? Why is that? There must be a reason for that. How can the Freemasons' main symbol is a damn pyramid? Pyramid is Egyptian. What does the Bible say about the Egyptians? I'm gonna get that scripture. I brought that out of about a month or so. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah. Here it is July already, man. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. whole year is flying, man. Yeah, time flying by fast as hell. It don't feel like, yeah, we've been out here teaching for years. It don't seem like we've been out here for years. It seems like a couple weeks. Yeah, We went through some hell some times out here, bro. Like, my, yeah, my two sons, they grown up fast as hell. Like, I done, like, damn, when was you a baby? I heard that. The fun here. I got a scripture back here. What's that one? We was talking about Egypt. I got a scripture for you. In the Deuteronomy 26 and 6. Because America's modern day Egypt, right? Barack Obama, he's pretty much the Pharaoh. He's the same thing as a Pharaoh or the damn emperor from the Roman Empire. Same, uh, same Yeah, same shit, man. You know what I mean? And that's why I said that everybody knows about the Freemasons and the Illuminati, all right? And once their main symbol is that goddamn pyramid with that damn all seeing eye. So I got a script, and that, that pyramid is Egyptian. I got a scripture for that. For the Egyptians. And this is go out to all you people out, all, especially all you black people who think you're Egyptian. All you well, all you black people in America. Hotep. Yeah. Come out Hotep this and Hotep that. Y'all look dumb as hell, man. Talking that Egyptian shit, man. And they all got that same spirit too. Like some, you say to some bitch What's up? Co oh, yeah, calling their calling their women uh, their queens and Nubian queens and all that. That's some heathen shit. Yeah, the Nubians were fucking heathens. Look at the De Deuteronomy 26 and 6. This is what the Lord got to say about some goddamn Egypt. And the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. I mean, that hard bondage was all them all them structures in Egypt. You see, the, the Egyptian pharaohs were tyrants, man. Okay, they told the people that they were God and you had to worship the pharaoh as God. The pharaoh said he was Horus and you had to worship him because he was God. Even though he died like a man, well, they, they actually you know, told the people he was God, you had to worship the pharaoh. And then the pharaohs erected giant statues of themselves everywhere. And they made Israelite slaves do the work. You know what I mean? They put giant statues. That's how proud they was. That's something a motherfucking Stalin would do, or, uh, uh, what's another one, uh, Lenin. That's, that's your boy up, them, uh, North Korean motherfuckers. Put pictures of their leaders up everywhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, was, it was really idol, idol worship. So here it is, the Pharaoh will make you worship his ass like he was God. So let me read this again, Deuteronomy 26 and 6. And the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. And, we, and when we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and labor. Hold on. And when we cried unto the
unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and labor in our oppression. So that's what we're doing right now. We out here, we sign and crying for all these abominations out here. It says, and the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with that outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. <laughs> I mean, that's what this is talking about the uh, the original Exodus, right? But this is going to happen again. The Lord, He's going to deliver us out of, out of this Egypt. Because America is spiritually known as the Egypt. That's why there's a pyramid on the back of a dollar with the all seeing eye of Horus. Okay? You got. Go on. This is Solomon 5 and 1. Talking about us being delivered and stuff. Yeah. Um, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Because uh, like early I said we're going to get beamed up by the chariots, by the so called UFOs. How did the Lord deliver the Israelites out of Egypt? He had a pillar by fire at night and a uh, cloud by day. I'll go ahead. I'm going to get that. I'll get that. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as hath afflicted him and have made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, the strangeness of our salvation. What the hell is that? Some foolishness? I've got to be some Negro probably. Oh no, that's an ambulance. Yeah. Yeah. Clowning. Clowning, yeah, they sure was. That's crazy. You, you want some motherfuckers come rescue your ass? Like, like that, that, yeah. <laughs> They're going to be clowning on your ass. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. Yeah, like, and the Israelites. When they got delivered out of Egypt uh, the first time, that was a strange salvation. First, the Lord hit Egypt with all kind of plagues, made it rain fire and ice on their ass, killed the firstborn son. You know what I'm saying? Hit them with all kind of lice and fleas and shit. Hit them with some locusts. He, 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 he fucked them up. He did. Like then, then he, yeah, he split the damn Red Sea. So that, that's not strange. I don't know what is. Right, right. Tell these people UFOs come to rescue us up out of here. Nah, there ain't one UFOs coming. The Lord got saved by chariots. What? What's a chariot? I don't believe in that shit, man. They looking for the Lord to come. Some white Jesus come float out the sky on a horse right. Pegasus. But naked and shit. That's what I'm saying. Pegasus, you know. Right, butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> butt naked. The butt naked angels. Yeah. The butt naked baby angels. <laughs> Damn. That's what they honestly looking for, man. I'm tired of seeing that shit. They got that shit all through my job. That's some pet, yeah, some pedophile shit, man. man. They got Caesar up your job big time. Bro. Hell yeah. Goddamn naked ass angels. What you looking at? Why are you looking at? Right looking at? got her arms out. You want somebody to snatch her up? You want somebody to snatch her piss thinking this here? But she don't walk around like confused and shit. She hot. Yeah, yeah, she is. She gotta be high on some shit, man. You ain't get that crazy bitch on camera? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> She was walking fast as hell. Yeah, she geeking. She was looking at us like, like, what the fuck? You come over here. You know, I got, I got something you can do. Yeah. She look good too. Crazy ass bitch. Yeah, she, look. That's she, all these women, they she, she over out of their mind. She's man. spazzing over there now, look at her. I was reading that Nehemiah said, I'm about to bust some Nehemiah. Oh, you the song. Oh, go ahead, just read that. Oh, let me just go back to the second one. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon twice in the day, and blood shall drop out of the wood and the stone shall give his voice, and the people shall be troubled. And even he shall rule, whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth. And the fowls shall take their flight away together, 
and the Sodomish sea shall cast out fish. You see these faggots everywhere. That's that Sod Sodomish, that's that Sodomish sea, sea yep. man. You see them everywhere. That shit is getting out of control, man. Every day is getting worse. Right. It's an outbreak. <laughs> and the Sodomish sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. Yeah, here, yeah, that's some fucked up shit. Here, you can be a faggot. You can uh, have a thousand abortions. Yeah, it's cool to have an abortion and kill little babies. But if you teach the Bible, then you're a bigot. You, you, this is hate speech. You know what I mean? And this is hate speech, but it's okay to kill babies. Mm -hmm. What kind of goddamn sense does that make? There shall be a confusion also in many places. Yeah, that's confusion. There's all kind of confusion here. If you got every nation on earth in America, that's confusion. When you and look, that's how they keep you divided too. Look, in America, you got goddamn Hindus, you got motherfucking Africans, you got Buddhists, you got Muslims, you got motherfucking hillbillies, you, know you got <laughs> Negroes, atheists. you got atheists, agnostics. You know what I'm saying? You got you got all all manner of people in the same place, okay? And they're not all gonna to pull together because the Chinese are gonna stick with the Chinese, okay? Right. Yeah, the motherfucking Hindus are gonna live with all the Hindus. The Hamites. The Hamites gonna live with the Hamites. So everybody's already staying divided naturally, kind of, you know what I mean? Well, they kind of mingle together a little bit. But for the most part, people's divided. That's right. And see that, but that, see that, that's the way this Roman system works, is they work on uh, divide and conquer. So they like a country where you got Muslims and faggots and atheists and all people mixed together because you're easier to rule that way. Because when you're all divided against each other, you'll, you'll, you'll never, uh, what's the scripture say? If, 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 you know what that scripture is? Yeah, I know. You read the scripture, man. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if, if you're divided against each other, your house ain't going to stand, man. If everybody's divided, nobody agrees on shit, and everybody has a different philosophy, different way of thinking you're, you're gonna be slaves you're gonna be easy to rule you're gonna be easy to conquer man it's plain and simple right okay but that, that's it's called divide and conquer that's how they rule your ass man they keep you divided then you stay conquered that's why they want to bring more heathens in Every, everywhere you look is like I said it's either every other person's a faggot but that's awful if it's not a faggot it'd be a goddamn Muslim you know what I mean a fucking Arab can't even speak English <laughs> That's confusion, man. But that's how they keep us divided and conquered. That's why they keep having more and more heathens coming over here from parts of the world you ain't never heard of. You know what I'm saying? Nepal. 